Oscar turns 81. Hi, everybody. I'm Mary Hart. Here we go. The Oscars at E.T. And hello, everybody. I'm Mary Hart. I'm Mary Hart. I'm Mary Hart. Hello, everybody. I'm Mary Hart. Hi, above the red carpet. I'm Mary Hart, and have a nice day. I'm Mary Hart for Entertainment Tonight. It is my pleasure to introduce you to Mary Hart. Please welcome Mary Hart. Please welcome Mary Hart. Mary, you beautiful woman, you. I really like that Mary Hart. Mary's going to sing. We're going to do a duet together. It was 1964 when we first met. Was I polite? I didn't know quite what to do. The only thing I could think of was to start asking rapid fire questions. I always say that was my first interview. Are you mellowing? Has your attitude changed? My attitude has never changed. I find, I treat people as I find them and how they treat me. Did you ever dream that you would be pushing 93 and still be doing it? I'm not interested in anything I did yesterday anyway. I'm only interested in what I'm doing now and what I'm going to do tomorrow. If there's one thing you want people to remember you by... Laughter. Brandon, when you were growing up in New York and you went to the movies and you saw the Paramount Mountain in the logo, did you ever dream that one day you'd be right here on top of the mountain? No, I can't say that I did. And that when I was growing up, Paramount did make an impression on me. Like millions of kids all over America, Cecil B. DeMille's Ten Commandments. Oh, wow. of course. To really make a mark in life, there's a lot more good to be done in other areas for our kids. Thank you. You still like to take chances and like to go out there and experience new things. Well, of course I do. I'm not dead. Thank you for sitting down with me. Oh, thanks. Oh, Thank you so much for having us. How do you two deal with each other at home? I, I never win a debate at home. <laughs> I mean, I haven't won that one yet. Are you going to run for president? Was there a point at which you said, I can't deal with this? I really now can say the tumor's gone, that I've really benefited from my experience with cancer. Do you feel like you have both grown tremendously in the years since Titanic? Surprisingly not. That's as much as we've ever talked about. This happens to be one of those rare, perfect people. Look how happy she is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You look really nice. Your hair is better than mine. Yeah, I know. Entertainment tonight with Tom Hanks. In Rome. The very first time that somebody put a microphone in my face, I knew I wanted to be on the other end of the microphone. And here I am, doing what I love to do.